We are currently in downtown Leesburg and we are going to do a restaurant review. This time we are going to go to a place that we have gone to, but the one we went to was in Eustis. Different location. Different location. And that is the Brick and Barrel Public House because we have this little thing right here. And if you couldn't read that, it says, present this card for half off any entree with purchase of an equal or higher priced entree. And there is no expiration date. I feel like we got these when we did the chili cook-off. We did get them when we did the chili cook-off. Yeah. If you have not seen that video, mm. we did a video on that. Last time we ate at the Brick and Barrel in Eustis, we loved it, but probably gonna try something new tonight. My parents will be joining us. It's always nice to have them there so we can see usually four different entrees. So if you are planning on coming to the restaurant, you can see what those entrees look like. I'm hungry, I don't know about you. Decent. I'm starving, actually. I'm ready I'm to starving. eat. Well, let's go check it out. As far as parking goes, I always show this parking garage in downtown, and you usually sometimes can find parking on the street, which is a little closer, but I just park over by the parking garage because there's a spot every single time. Now we did do a full tour of downtown Leesburg, if you wanna look at that video. There's several more restaurants we are gonna to have to try down here, but Brick and Barrel's actually, if you wanna to go to Brick and Barrel, definitely park in the parking garage because it's literally right here. This is, we're coming up to 2nd Street, so right next to 2nd Street. So if you see 2nd and Main, Almost on the corner of 2nd Main, we do have Brick and Barrel right here. They have some outdoor seating. I don't think, no, the restaurant might be as big as the one in Eustis. The one in Eustis is pretty good size. So on this side is the Brick and Barrel Lounge, which the main, I was trying to see the main dining shows open daily at 11. I don't know when the lounge opens because I don't, 5 p.m. Friday through Saturday. There you have it. Down at this end, there is a table for, I guess a few tables out here for some outdoor seating, but up here is the actual restaurant. They do have some seats out here that you can just sit in. Hours 11 to 11, Monday through Thursday. Friday's 11 to 1, Saturday's 11 to 1, Sunday's 11 to 11. And this is what it looks like in here. We have a large bar there. It really isn't that much seating on this side. Restrooms look like they're in the far back. We're actually gonna be right here. Jack lives here. This is what a lounge looks like. Hmm. Look at this dessert. We've got the, all the desserts on here. It says Brick and Barrel, established 2019. Here we have the starters, crispy Brussels sprouts, Bavarian pretzel, wings, sweet potato fries. Here is a favorite award winning chili. That sounds good, and that's kind of funny since. We got that little, yeah, we got that little thing from uh, the chili cook-off. Flatbreads. Zero proof. It does show flavored lemonade and flavored teas, which we'll have to ask. Over here, fresh greens with the different dressings they have. Handhelds served with choice of kettle chips or lightly dressed greens. You can substitute for a dollar more. You can get a gluten-free bun. Cheeseburgers, jalapeno burger, Cuban sandwich. Here are some of those sides. And then we did show you the desserts. 3.95% fee for all debit credit card purchases. Then on the other side, we've got hand-cut steaks, cravings, Look at that buffalo cauliflower. Seafood. A lot of these little 
items are marked with their favorite. Wine, bottled beer, happy hours every day, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, we're here for happy hour. That's great news. Draft beer, craft cocktails. And that's a look at the menu. I do wish they would have like something that shows what happy hour is at the restaurant because it doesn't tell, but we'll ask that too. Timber informed me that we had the chili already. I forgot. That's where we got the thing from their tent. Because they had a tent set up out at the chili field. That makes sense. So it does say right here what the <laughs> happy hour is. <laughs> and she said $4 wines, I think. Something like that. Um, and then also, as far as the flavor, lemonade and flavored teas, they just have cherry. But I went with the unsweet Arnold Palmer because I wasn't sure about cherry flavored tea. We also got the salmon, I think, last time, the one in Eustis that we went to. I'm kind of torn between a chicken bacon ranch flatbread or even a burger. The, fry, the firecracker shrimp tacos sound good. Hmm. I don't know yet. I think Timber's going to do the roasted vegetable flatbread. I think I'm going to do the barbecue burger. And as a side, do the sweet potato fries. Because over here, it sounds like they're really good sweet potato fries. So I think that's what we're going to do. So they did tell us they are short staffed. But just make note, it's been about probably five, six, seven minutes or so. And we don't have drinks. Oh, I think they're coming now. Here is a look at that Arnold Palmer. Water's pretty good, what I've been told. The Arnold Palmer is not the best one I've ever had. It's just so-so. It says get a free $10 off your next visit if you join their uh, rewards program. Now, like I mentioned and like they warned us, it might take a little while. It, it, it has currently been 30 minutes. So no food yet, 30 minutes. Here is the burger. So overall, they did tell us it's going to take a while. It probably took about 50 minutes or 55 minutes. Let's see. 58 minutes. 50 minutes since we ordered. We'll say 50 minutes since we ordered. But this is the barbecue burger, the sweet potato fries. Look at that flatbread. That looks delicious. And then the regular burger and Brussels sprouts right there. Here is what that burger looks like cut in half. We're still waiting on the fish and chips for my dad. These are waffle fries, so they don't really, can't really do crispy tests, but they are crispy, believe it or not. Good grief, look at the fish and chips. It's a lot of fish there. As far as the taste of the burger, it's pretty good. It's just a normal burger. I wouldn't say it's the best burger I've ever had. Yeah, the barbecue one. Fries are really good. The Brussels sprouts are really good. How's yours? Really good. Is it really good? Yeah. yeah, the flatbread's really good. It's slightly spicy, but I like it a lot. I am going to give the sweet potato fries a stinking good. Everybody that's tried them at the table likes them. All right, here's a look at the bill. So we did get to use the half off there. You can see it took about $6.50 off. They do have the credit card charge though of two sixty six. Total price was seventy four dollars and sixty eight cents. Seventy two dollars and two cents if you pay with cash. I also will say my second Arnold Palmer is much better than the first. It's really good actually. This place has stayed really busy. I do see on the sign now where it says social hours, half price apps, at bar only, and that's what she was explaining. And. There are some nights where they have live music, I believe. It is currently 6.30, just so you know, so it did take quite a bit of time, but again, they warned us, and we are all finished now, so. Definitely a busy spot. They stay busy quite a bit, actually. Like, it was constantly busy. They're short-staffed, they said right now. That's why it was um, took a while, but yeah, just be prepared to, to wait a little bit. And you can get lucky and find a parking spot right here right here in front of it but i just wouldn't rely on finding that i would just park literally the parking garage right right down there so not a difficult place to find parking comment below on the next place we should eat at in leesburg we always like reading the comments so just let us know all right this lighting's uh a little rough here but that was our trip out to the brick and barrel public house 
it's hard to judge this one because they are low staffed. Um, right. They mentioned that, so like I want to, I want to make note that right before we got seated, they said just know that the food might take a while, and I really appreciate them doing that. Yeah. So we're not. It didn't bother me no. sitting waiting because we knew. No, it didn't bother us at all. It did take a while though. It took what an hour and a half basically, mm -hmm. but again, they mentioned that. As far as the food goes, overall, we all liked the food, thought mm -hmm. the food was good. Like I said, the burger was just a decent burger. It's not the best one I've ever had, but it was an okay one. Your flatbread, I thought, was better than had a good flavor my to it. meal. Like, I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. But my sweet potato fries, stinking good. They did a really good job with that. My parents said they liked theirs. Uh, the fish was good. So no complaints there. I, I think if... It's a good experience. If you... I would, I would maybe... If you're in the area and you want something like that, give it a chance. Um, if it was quicker, then you, I would definitely say like, go for it. Because we had a good experience at the Eustace one. Mm -hmm. It was good. So they definitely have potential. It's just unfortunate that the staffing issue is going on right with them. But not that bad. We did have that discount, which helped. So I did think it was a little pricey, I guess I could say, for, 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 what, the, you for what, yeah, what we got. But um, you kind of have an issue. We got to go shopping, so shoe let's go check it out <laughs> that's good that's another restaurant review here in leesburg with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching that's it for today thanks for watching